Hey everybody, this is Tom again in Western North Carolina, moving on with this chair. It's the next day. Anyways, we're going to be starting to work on the arms now, and so I'm going to show you some of the first things you need to do, or what I do in the next, in the arms. And I've actually got a list here, so if you see me looking down, I'm making sure that I I did all this stuff yesterday, so uh, I wrote it down, what I, so anyways, I might be looking down, and I'm looking at my list to make sure I tell you stuff. Anyways, the first thing on the list is make sure, you want to make sure that these, the tops of these front posts are in line with each other you know this way because these arms are going to set down on these and you know you don't want them to be crooked so anyways check them if you need to level them up and, and not level but in plane with each other what i call in plane with each other and so anyways Mine were uh, pretty good, so I didn't have to do anything to them. So then the next step is take a ruler, any kind of ruler, doesn't matter, and measure up and see what that measurement is right there. And they might not be exactly perfect, but these are both within a half or a 32nd of an inch. So that's plenty close enough. And anyways, you take that measurement and add, add one quarter inch to that measurement and move it back to this back post right there and make a mark on both of them. And do, you know, each one individually. If they're a 30 second off, this should be a 30 second off. But anyways, make that mark there, and then find the center on this post here, both places, find that center, you know, and the center is looking right over this post, you know, not like this or like this, but right this way, this way you're going to drill your hole, find that center, and then you're going to drill those holes and there I'm going to drill them with the exact same bit that I drilled all these rung holes with. Now in the book or in the magazine that I showed you earlier, you, it shows the guy just like this drilling the hole. Maybe he's on the floor, but he's just got a short bit and he's just drilling the hole like that. Now you can do it like that. But you gotta, you've got to really have a steady hand and know your aim and be able to aim good. Now I'm going to uh, put this chair down and I'm going to move the camera so you can see how I do it. I'm going to move the camera a little bit. Don't be afraid. All right, you can you can see that I've got the chair. I've got this chunk of wood here plain flat on the bottom and I've got I've got pieces of leather here on the top to to rest the chair on. And I've got that corner there just propped up so it doesn't just flop down. Now, I've got this is my drill bit, you know, the same one but I've got a long extension and what I do, you know, I put it on that mark and then I hold it. I guess I got, I'm turned a little bit from you. I'm going to move this around, but I just hold it here with my finger right on top of this. And that's my aim right there. Now, if you're doing this alone, you've got to drill and then you've got to stop and you've got to check the depth of your hole. It's hard to see that line from up here, but you gotta you gotta drill and check 
drill and check. And we're going for, you know, a one inch deep hole, just like the rungs were. And it's, you know, it's the same bit, five eighths of an inch. So anyways, I'm gonna move the chair back up and change the camera again. Changing the camera again. That ought to be good. Now, you know, we're talking about the arms. And one of the things about the arms is I like to have a line right from here, right down through where the hole is going to be, where it's going to set on the arm. And that's about, in this case, that's where it turned out. And that's right on the growth, supposed to be right on a, uh, some kind of grain line. Like I say, this one's got curve, but that's where I laid out that line. And this is on the underside of the arm. The underside, this is this arm over here. And it's a good idea that, to mark your arms so you know which one is which. You're making a mirror image of each of the arms, but they might actually be a different length. So anyways, you wanna draw that. Yeah, you wanna draw that line on there. And then, you want to determine and mark the, what I call the overhang. And what that overhang is, is how far out from this post is this arm going to be right here. And where you feel it when you're sitting in the chair is like your hand is like this. And it's like, is it too close? Is your hand just like that? Or is it too big? You know, and just looks gawky out there in space. So I recommend that you make that overhang somewhere in the vicinity of one, one inch to one and a quarter inches. And I made these, I decided, I made these one and an eighth inch. And so that's the first mark I made on the bottom of these things. I marked that mark from right there to right there. One, eight, one and one eighth of an inch. And then I take this ruler, just a piece of an old tape measure, and I've got it tapered down here on the end. And it doesn't matter where the starting point is but you take this thing and put it in that hole bottom it out and just read it right here whatever this says or you can put your finger on it this whatever that is and then you mark from wherever that Whatever that is right there, you put that on that mark that you just made, this mark here, the overhang mark, because you measured to the outside of this post, and you mark that off back here, and that becomes the length of your, that becomes the length of that particular arm, and these, these arms here, that's there. And that's there. They were they were a heavy heavy sixteenth of an inch different, and so it, they should be marked differently. You know, there it doesn't matter. That little bit in this chair is not going to make any difference. So, anyways, you mark that, and that's your length of your uh, of your arm, and then you saw that off. Of this end here saw it off and it turned out that these arms were you know quite
quite a bit too long on this end. And they both needed to be cut off. I can't, about five eighths of an inch or something. But then after you do that, mark that length, you saw it off. Then what you do, what I do, is I mark my one and a quarter inch circle on the arm. And you know, I just do that by, you know, measuring from that overhang line of one and a quarter inches. And then I find the center of that, right there, that mark. And then I mark sideways on there also, one and a quarter inches. And that's where I'm going to, that's where I'm going to use this here bit. It's an inch and a quarter, quarter Forstner bit. It has, drills a hole with a fairly flat bottom. Pretty darn flat, actually. I'm going to drill, use that drill bit. You know, there, there it is. I think you can see that. Anyways, I'm going to use that drill bit in a drill press. Don't need a drill press, but that's what I'm going to use. But I'm going to drill that hole right there. I'm not going to drill the hole. I'm going to I'm going to drill a hole a quarter of an inch deep. Quarter inch deep. And you darn sure want it on the bottom of the arm, not the top. On the bottom. I'm going to drill that inch and a quarter. And then I, well, I'll just go on and tell you, I'm going to then drill through this drill bit has a center, little spur in the center, and it makes a mark right in the center. I'm going to drill right through, all the way through, with, doesn't matter, like a 3 16th of an inch bit, so that I know exactly where this hole is going to be on this top side. And then... I'm probably going to drill through there with my 5 8 inch Forstner bit. Just another Forstner bit, 5 8 It's the drill I use to drill down for the peg. I don't know where those pegs are. Here's the pegs. I'm going to drill, use that to drill down through for this peg here. And I'm just going to drill, I'm going to drill this part this arm you know in the drill press and then when I get this put on here that will be that much of that hole will already be drilled so that when I go to drill down the two inches I'm already got a start on it all right hope this hope this is all making sense to you I guess I'm going a little fast but then the next thing that's going to happen is you're going to have to start shaping these arms. And the first thing to do is what I've done here is I've drawn a circle on the end of this. And I'm going to taper this thing down so that I can run my uh, tenoning tool onto here. You know, it won't go on there right now. And I'm not prepared right now. I'd have to look for the tools and stuff and uh, to do that step right now. But one of the things about that step is you need this line right here on, drawn on your thing because I'm going to clamp this in a vise and level this line and then using my uh, tenoning bit I'm going to have hold it level and shoot that on there. And I'll I'll reset the camera and stuff and show you that on another video in the next video. And so another thing you can do and I've got this silly pattern here that I use 
to draw this curve here, I should use this one. And it's pretty arbitrary that I draw this relief on here. Or I don't know what to call it, but I draw this line. And I got the measurements on here. And this, and this is, you can make this any size or shape you want. These arms are, you know, except for back here and up here where they attach. You gotta have, you gotta make those two places because the arms gotta go on. But what the rest of the arm looks like is completely up to you. But I'm just, sh I'm showing you what I do. In this widest place here, it measures an inch and seven eighths right there. And then I draw a line right here. And that line's about five sixteenths, five sixteenths up from the bottom. And then this from here to here is eight and three quarters. And then from this point, from this point right here, it's about four inches right there. But like I say, that's all kind of arbitrary. And that's something like, like when I start in now with my draw knife and spoke shave, whatever I'm going to use to shape this. When I do this part, I might start hacking away on this part and start smoothing up some of these other places. And I'm probably, I'm not going to be able to completely finish the shaping of the arm until I get this tenon on there. That I can, you know, I can start roughing it out. You know, getting, moving towards the final product. So anyways, you know, remember these, these arms are a mirror image of each other. You know, know where the bottom is. And, uh, and I try to, you know, I want both the arms to look fairly similar to each other. So anyways, uh, I did all that work yesterday after I made that last video and I was going to make the video, but I didn't because of other interruptions, but they were all good interruptions and rained a little bit later in the day yesterday, just a light rain. And I went over to the restaurant where I make a fire every night that we ha eat where they serve dinner. I make a fire over there just about every night just to hang out and for the customers to hang out. So that's better than watching TV. So anyways, I have a little of that chore to do on four nights a week, I think now. But it's just a little bit of firewood and burn up the trash wood Anyways, uh, that's enough of me just talking. I appreciate you watching. And I don't know if I'll upload this just tonight yet. Might wait till tomorrow. But give you guys time to watch the last video. Anyways, uh, I'm thankful for what I have. I hope you can be thankful for what you have. And I'll see you another day. And thanks again for watching. Bye.